Please don't take me seriously. They think I'm mad. Even in prison, he still gets to me. <sighs> What'd you do to her? What did you do to my wife? We have to stop this. I can't do that alone. Before he shouts, it'll stop. If you whistle before he shouts, it'll stop. Oil. Oil. Oil, Ali, I'm gasping. Any danger, that's it. I don't want to disturb you. Are you okay? Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. Fundamentally, what I'm saying is that there has to be a belief in the skill and the industry. And dignity of labour. Oh, the sausage cancelling. The arts and crafts movement was born in the Middle East. You'd never know. Mum, can I have another sausage? Oh, Birmingham School of Art, Whitgift Manor, Manders Morris. It's all here. This place was very inspirational in its time. See, it's all about people. What people make, what people do, what people become. So what's the difference between art and crafts? There's no reason why an artist shouldn't put a high price on his work. It's, oh, like um, that hearse bloke with the dead things. How much? I mean, the people have got more money than cents, well, I think. Undoubtedly, some of my clients will have a lot of money, but my work will be available to all. I'll take a leaf out of the arts and crafts movement. The stuff that you put in that fridge at your exhibition, what was all that about? Oh, sorry, Rob, am I in your seat? Are you saying that that's part of the arts and crafts movement? Well, yes. Rejecting the uh, mass-produced in favour of supporting the creative independence of skilled workers. You lot. You take a working week to make an egg cup, Rob. Your customers will have to be extremely rich and extremely stupid. Dad! Oh, come on. It's all a load of BS. BS? Bespoke greetings by Barry Biglow. Handmade cards beyond the pocket of the working man. Can I come in or what? No cake. You made me promise not to. I know. I just told myself... You should have told me. If you bought cake, it could have made a difference. I could get cake. No, don't bother. It'll be another foul birthday. What's new? Come in. I made this for you. Handcrafted, that is. Oh, it's lovely. You got the kettle on? Uh, Damien, up. Tea or coffee? Tea, but uh, can I just run to you? I'm bursting. Every time, Barry, every time. Not for a sit down. Good, because Damien's still got to buy that wing nut. I told you I could fix the toilet seat. Just don't leave it up. Why are you following me? No, I'm not. I just happened to... I wanted to say sorry. So you are following me then? Only to apologise for yesterday. I shouldn't have answered the phone. I was out of line. Yes, you were. I'm sorry. I knew Harrison wouldn't speak to me. It was still worth a shot. Would it have helped? It might have stopped me feeling so... lost. Lost? I used to be decisive. I'm not this man. I'm not like this. All I can think about is the need to know what... You understand? Look, my cars. I wish there was something I could tell you, Alex, but there's nothing. My wife's gone. Disappeared. Harrison Keller knows where she is. I know he does. But he's never going to talk to me. I was her husband. Look, maybe there's someone I can ask for you. Maybe.
You know all this muck just messes with her head. Personal use, bro. Personal use. <clears throat> she making more tea. It amazes me that a woman like Elaine is such a... Disaster magnet? I've got a cousin who would pick out the one pervert in a hall full of saints. It happens. Some women are just like that. Well, she deserves better. She really does. Oh, good morning. I am late. I apologise. But I had to get my secateurs out on Pennell Road. You carry secateurs? Of course you do. Now, I only ever snippety-snip outside empty houses or on Westland. Or where overhanging greenery becomes dangerous to pedestrians. Let me get you the vase. Thank you. Not even a bunch of flowers. Well, that'd have killed you. You know how bad her birthdays are. Half the time, it's your sodding fault. How'd you work that out? Last year, you bogged off to Wakefield with the only front door key and that slag from Northfield. I left the back window open. Mrs Johnson, third year biology. Here we go. You let the lab door swing shut in her face. You knocked on his tooth out. It's an accident. Listen, Damon. Wouldn't it be nice if Annie had a happy birthday? Just for once. Wouldn't that do the world a good, eh? There's nothing wrong with her. She's fine. Is she, Damon? Is she? Look, Barry, we all know this is about you trying to get into her knickers. You've wanted to since 3F. It ain't gonna happen. Annie's a nutter, right? We all know that. Shut up. A nutter. She's weird. She's freaky. She's mad. She's not mad. Yeah, not mad enough to do you any road. You always were an oaf. Whatever. And now you're a saddo, dope oaf who's no good to no one. Stop in your stinking pit. Best place for you. Oh, you've got a bit of colour in your cheeks. I went for a run earlier. Well, it's done you good. Cos you're looking a bit pale. A bit washed out lately. Thanks for that. Oh, no. What I meant by it was... Uh... Washed out in a good way. Mm. I was trying to say that you look really well. Thanks. And I was thinking, um, maybe we could go for lunch. Bye, shout. Oh, I'd love to, but I've got a thing this afternoon. Oh, OK. I'd love to another time. You're on my radar. <laughs> Mr Whitaker? Oh. Mrs Hepburn? Maybe people have sent virtual cards online. I don't look at the internet. Maybe they have, though. Who's they, Barry? Why, sir? I haven't seen a pair of magpies for weeks. Just the one, the sorrow. We saw one magpie on my birthday. We had a nice day, didn't we? Remember? Remember that free bit of chicken at Nando's? Mm. Last magpie I saw, they were pecking at a dead pigeon. Remember that time at New Street? That taxi backed over that pigeon. Who'd have thought it'd make a noise like that, eh? <laughs> One. It has to be the Jesus one. It's, it's not really Jesus. It, it's called an apostle spoon. You have to use it in that mug. Fancy getting the abdams over a teaspoon, eh? You should have bought a cake. You've got to stop smoking that stuff, I know. That skunk's making you give in to the weirdies. I'm not smoking. Then why are you getting more messed up, eh? You should have bought cake. Right then, missus, you're on. <laughs> Garden centre. Oh, I'm doing this now. What? Kinsley is about to start work on his new project. Which is inspired by family life. Our family life. The working title is Reflection, so I thought, windows? What, you, you'd rather do the windows and go to the garden centre? Kingsley is considering the merits of a photo montage. Photo? Oh, don't make him sound even worse than he already is. Oh, Dad. He's just a pornographer. You are never going to understand us creatives, are you? Whoa! <laughs> Rugby in your youth, Sergeant H? A monster in the scrum, I bet. I'm off for compost. 
Sorry about my dad. No, don't be. He's, um... He's earthy. Are you sure you do not want a cup of tea? I thought, who would I usually go and talk to about something like this? And you thought of me? No, I thought of Julia. But, well, she's uh, gone now, so then I thought, I know. Who stepped into Julia Parsons' shoes? Not me. Yes, you. I can't talk to you, Colin, Mrs Tenby. Ask you questions about stuff. Yes, yes, of course. Now, tell me what is really happening with your friend. You'd like Annie. She knits handbags, but she talks to Ivy. Who is Ivy? Ivy, what grows at the back of their house. Thing is, she's never been normal. She links things, says they're foretelling, particularly about her birthday. You should see a collection of money. Well, yeah, she saves. She picks it up off the street, thinks it's lucky. You are worried about her, huh? It's her birthday. She's worse than ever. Cheese and pickle? Bung it here, then. I could come back to bed if you like. You're all right. Birthday cuddlings would be nice. Yeah, maybe later. Making more tea? Perhaps she should go and see Dr. Carter. Don't even go there. She wouldn't come. These eccentricities, are they not little alarm bells? Your flowers are brill. Alarm bells should not be ignored. You've been stepping down Reservoir Road? She wouldn't come. She likes doctors even less than she likes fuss. What fuss? A little birthday party? You go and buy a cake and a present. Bring Annie here. And if she happens to brush past a doctor, then... Almost by accident. Mm, a helium balloon, a packet of savoury nibbles. Uh, Bob's your uncle. We've got a plan. Hmm. She might like that sort of fuss. Perhaps you can ask her boyfriend to come. Him. Forget him. Even if she does not want to see Dr Carter. At least Annie will see that she deserves a nice birthday. Hmm? You can give her that. Hello. Hi, Rob. It's Elaine Cassidy. Oh, hi. You're right. Sorry, I haven't disturbed you at work, have I? No, 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 no. I've got a day off. Or oh, what Karen calls a day off. Mind you, not be long before I'm knee deep in Abasia's borders. What can I do for you? The thing is, um, it's about Harrison. Oh, really? I'm fed up with having to deal with Harrison at the moment. Right. The thing is, there's a man, Alex Redman. His wife had an affair with Harrison. She's disappeared. The police aren't interested. I'm sure they're looking into it. Harrison could have killed her. Elaine, DCI driver will be across every possibility. If you find out anything, will you tell me so I can tell Alex? I'll do my best, but... It's not me who needs to know. It's Alex. I mean, he's in limbo. Harrison could get away with it. Nobody's helping him. I mean, if, if you talked to him, you'd see him. Mean, he's so lost. Elaine. What? I'm more concerned about you. Are you all right? Me? I'm fine. But could you look into it, Rob? I'll... I'll see what I can do. I'll do my best. I can't. Why not? You're all dressed up. You look lovely. It's in case Damien wants to take me out. <sighs> when was the last time Damien took you anywhere? Don't be spiteful, Barry. Sorry. What you done now, big alone? Nothing. Just said I might want to take Anya for a bit of a birthday surprise. And I said I thought you might want to do something. Nah, you're all right. Knock yourselves out. I've got a question for you, Mr. Apollo. Why this family in particular? Who better? We're not special. You so are. You're real survivors. 
And what did we survive, Kingsley? What do you mean exactly? Well, you're tough. Like a persisting herd. <laughs> a herd? Yeah, you should be proud of yourselves. Who do you think you are, the next Marcus Harvey? You know his work. Do you think that Charles Sarch is going to be interested in you? Oh, I am art. No, you're not. You're an unprincipled, manipulative git. Have you seen this? Now, they're just ideas and swatches. A starting point. Do you know what this man did? Karen, you know you can trust me to be sensitive. He put me in hospital. Yeah, I know. And you survived. What's the matter with you, bringing the pictures of that piece of filth into my house? This is great. I want a visceral reaction. What, to line your own pockets? I don't think so. Get them out of here. I don't want to see them. Did you know about this? No. Come on, guys. An artist takes the pain and, and using it takes the pain away. It is upsetting, but it is valid. I mean, I did a piece of work after all of that Lewis stuff, didn't I? Which you then torched. I'm going to find Jack. You deal with this. Finally. Ta -da. Happy birthday. <sighs> and I am Mrs. Tempe. Oh, well, please, make a wish. For me? <sighs> I believe that a birthday is a new beginning we are offered once a year. The secret to staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly. That'll be a proverb. Mrs. Timby's from Botswana, originally. Well, it is a quote. Live honestly, eat slowly, and lie about your age. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, then? Lucille Ball. <laughs> now, before you say anything, it ain't a proper present. She can't be having me presents. And uh, as it is your birthday, you, you can use my lucky tuppence. Well, I never win anything. Definitely not on my birthday. Oh, check it, check it. I think I've won. You have. <laughs> oh, you see, a new beginning. Two pounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for him. We're off out. I've been doing some more considering. Have you? Yeah. And all things considered... Everything? Everything. I'd be much happier if you found somewhere else to stay. There's a place the other side of Birmingham. A few performance artists. Good. I'll leave on Friday. Tonight. I don't think him would be happy about that. Take up your bed and walk. It's nothing. Please don't let me keep you from your work. I'm fine. I can see everything I need to see from here. You are not fine. I made a candle wish. Even so. Close my eyes and everything. If you are in so much pain, maybe you should see a doctor. It's going to stop. There's been cake and the wish and I even won two pounds, so it will stop. Tell me what's wrong. Remember. This is a day for new beginnings. I've had my period for a really long time. How long? Sometimes it stops. For five days in June it did. June? And Damien caught for his tea after the kettle boiled and it looked as if it would stop, but then Barry didn't bring cake and he used the wrong teaspoon. What? But today was a good day. There was cake and I made a wish. Teaspoons, cake, boiling kettles. And the only omen here is that you are in pain. And five yards away is an excellent doctor. I want to see a doctor, aren't I? About what? And you virtually had continual bleeding for the last ten months. Okay, when did you last have a smear test? Don't remember. More than two years ago? Wouldn't five. Annie, have you ever had a smear test? Ten years ago, 
When did Marilyn Manson cover Tainted Love? Me and Barry didn't like it, but my boyfriend really did. Damien liked it, but me and Barry still like soft sell. Do you know it? Sometimes I feel I've got to do, do, run away. I've got to do, do. When you're intimate with your boyfriend, is it painful? We're not intimate. Okie dokie, let's get this referral underway. It's not good, is it? We are not doctors. What do we know, huh? We know it's not good. Ready to go, Baz. Dr Carter says they're going to write to me from the hospital, but it's urgent, so if it's all right with you, then you could chase them and call me if I leave you my number. Of course. I need an appointment, you see, at the hospital. It's urgent. Best get you back to Damien, then. Hey, come on, big low. Don't be spoiling my party. I've had a really lovely birthday, thanks to you, so chin up and all that. But would it be OK if I took the flowers home? They're so beautiful. Of course. No calls. Huh. Well, you two were going to the pictures tonight. Oh, we were, but Dad said that Kingsley had to be out by tonight. Does he need a lift? We'll be fine on the bus, thanks. What? What do you mean, we? Don't all psycho mom on me. I don't want you and Jack getting upset. It's only for a couple of days. A couple of days? Really... Where are you going? It's an extremely nice squat. Squat? Rob? What? Did they have a word? He already has. It was his idea that we leave tonight. What did you say? I didn't say anything about Emmy going anywhere. In many ways, he's been my muse, my catalyst. Thank you, Rob, for comparing me to Marcus Harvey. Oh, it's, it's a few days, that's all. Yeah, so you're not going. Like, that's gonna work. <laughs> I'm moving out on Friday anyway, Dad. And look, this is gonna be an adventure. And who knows, one day I might draw on all of these influences and experiences and get myself a placement at Yaddo. Yaddo's an American arts commune. Oh, can you just imagine me in the fall, Saratoga Springs, with my own studio. Mm, I believe in you, Imogen. Mr and Mrs Hollins, thank you very much for having me. No? OK. Well, it's been an agreeable peek behind the net curtains. You know, I never realised there were so many different types of air freshener one could buy. <laughs> Shall we go? Do say ciao to Jack for me, won't you? Oh, look, it's the Queen of Crazy Town and her pet monkey. Should it, Damien? Barry cheered me up, took me out. We had a little party. She'd been drinking. He might have had a couple of sherries. Fat florals, Barry. Nicking from the creme. My friend gave them to me. What friend? Are you staying for tea? No, I could get chips. You should be taking it easy. She's half tanked and she's been dossing about all day. She's fine. She's not fine. And he's not well. I spoke to a doctor about my thing. What? Oh, please. Tell me you haven't been bleating about being perpetually on. You knew. So? About that and her being away with the fairies. Keep up, Bigelow. In any world, dirty and mad is normal. I'm leaving you. You are? I'm ill, Damien, and it's not teaspoons, it's you. It's all right, if I stay with you tonight, Barry, then I'll go to my sister's. Oh, my good Lord. Are you blobbing, Bigelow? You're going nowhere. Of course you can stay at mine. I'll look after you. Just tonight? Or look after you. <laughs> Catching! Of course you will. I'll get some clothes. You're not here, you're just mad! You did this. So please, do us a favour. Hit me first.
Um, keys. Keys. It's only a matter of time till the trial. I'm going to be called, aren't I? I'll be there. Thanks. Even then, I don't think I can face it. <laughs> <laughs>